coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Strata Launch Tests Hypersonic UAV Prototype. Starlink Aviation Launches Service. And Soaring Eagle Technologies obtains approval for long range BV loss inspection. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed. Let's get into today's stories. Strata Launch Test Hypersonic UAV Prototype. On October 28th, Strata Launch commenced in flight testing of its Talon A UAV prototype. Rock bore the Talon A test vehicle into the azure vastness above California's Mojave Desert, thereby proving itself and its amidships attached pylon capable of carrying the experimental hypersonic vehicle Strato Launch's management and investors hope to presently see racing regularly spaceward. The flight, Rock's eighth, lasted just over five hours, reaching a maximum altitude of FL-230 and reportedly meeting the entirety of its engineering, performance, and telemetric objectives. Strata Launch Vice President of Programs and Operations Brandon Wood stated in a post-flight teleconference, quote, This is the first integrated flight test of our Talon launch system. We'll progress from here to more complicated and certainly more productive flights for our hypersonic testbed, end quote. If a planned December 2022 drop test proves successful, Strata Launch aims to test its first production hypersonic vehicle, the Talon A TA-1, in 2023 and offer hypersonic flight services to government and commercial customers soon thereafter. Talon A's relatively diminutive 28-foot fuselage and 11.3-foot wingspan belie its 6,000-pound launch mass and target airspeed envelope of Mach 5 to Mach 7. And after the break, NBAA head named to FAA AAM Advisory Committee. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. NBAA head named to FAA AAM Advisory Committee. NBAA Chief Ed Bolin has been selected as one of 12 new appointees to the FAA's Advanced Aviation Advisory Committee. The committee is a recent development in the march toward widespread UAS and advanced air mobility aircraft throughout the civil airspace system. The AAAC was put into place thanks to recent NBAA bolstered legislation aimed at laying the necessary groundwork needed for the introduction of new technologies at such a scale. Ampere receives order for up to 50 eco-caravans. Ampere has received a firm order for 25 of the company's eco-caravans from Monty. The agreement includes an option for an additional 25 eco-caravans and codifies the party's preferred partner relationship. The nine-passenger eco-caravan, which has undergone ground power tests and is slated to fly before the end of 2022, is the first hybrid electric aircraft to enter into the FAA's formal certification process. Ampere expects the agency to issue supplemental type certification for the eco-caravan in 2024. ACE holding Amazing Race Fundraiser with CFAA students the Aerospace Center for Excellence will hold an unorthodox fundraising opportunity to bolster their year-round educational programs, holding a youth sim race between teams drawn from its Central Florida Aerospace Academy program. 
The high school racers will compete in a four-leg timed race throughout Central Florida, competing to be awarded points based on the completion time of each leg. The race portion of the drive begins on November 29th, but from now until then, the teams will be racing to gain as many donations as they can. Army continues Gray Eagle MOSA development. U.S. Army's Unmanned Aircraft System Project Office recently completed a test using a freshly modified Gray Eagle Extended Range model, evaluating its updated open architecture ground control software. The test took place at Fort Stewart, Georgia with the assistance of General Atomics Aeronautical Systems. The manufacturer of the MQ-1C Gray Eagle has aimed recent modernization efforts at integrating the Army's modular open systems approach, adding flexibility to a long-standing platform. Well, that's it for our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Starlink Aviation launches service. A technology that may find a serious home with the UAV and AAM crowd, SpaceX has launched the aeronautical version of its Starlink Internet service, offering high-speed, low-latency internet for aircraft at a low, low price of $12,500 a month to $25,000 per month. While the service may seem somewhat exorbitant to the average person's internet service, the world of business aviation is a different ecosystem entirely, and Starlink Aviation's pricing is not too far from the average in the sector. The service itself is highly competitive, entering the market with a top speed of 350 megabits per second, among an industry still lagging behind with regular broadband speeds from 20 to 100 megabits per second. Latency is said to be as low as 20 milliseconds while in flight, and all plans through Starlink will include unlimited data by default. Installation will require customers to pay a one-time hardware cost of $150,000 for the necessary equipment. Once complete, Starlink will enable an aerial internet experience hardly removed from a terrestrial one. In-flight video calls, VPNs, streaming, even gaming is on the table for passengers around the world. Plans include unlimited data and hardware is under warranty for the length of the subscription, with no long-term contract required. And after these messages, Soaring Eagle Technologies obtains approval for long-range BV loss inspection. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. Soaring Eagle Technologies obtains approval for long-range BB loss inspection. Soaring Eagle Technologies has received their latest long-distance waiver from the FAA, allowing them to expand their range of infrastructure inspection using uncrewed aircraft from longer distances than ever before. They have one of the first BVLOS FAA waivers to fly small uncrewed aerial system inspection missions under a set of specific operational guidelines, provided those flights took place within a given geographic region. The newest approval, however, takes that up a notch to allow BVLOS approval nationwide. The change doesn't change the requirement to meet operational parameters requiring the same standards of safety. The waiver will allow Soaring Eagle to collect data like high-resolution photography or LiDAR imagery with greater safety than traditional crewed aircraft. That approval will help greatly in data gathering missions that require close-in, down-low survey flights in hazardous mountainous areas or heavily populated infrastructure. Quote, this is big news for clients needing more efficient, reliable, greener, and safer inspections of large geographic areas and critical infrastructure, end quote, said waiver recipient Noah Ruiz. 
His experience as the chief pilot for Soaring Eagle has been invaluable at stretching the range of their BB loss range. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.